Let's do an overview of HiFall. HiFall has two main sections. There's the main HiFall processor, which can be turned on and off with this power button right here. And then there's the parallel limiter processor or the parallel HiFall that can be turned on and off with this button right here. You'll see that when I disengage or turn off these sections, they get darker to let you know that it's bypassed, it's no longer processing audio, and it's no longer using CPU. Additionally, you can use the main bypass to turn off both sections at the same time. So now the signal's just passing through, but it's compensating for the delay. Now let's move up to the spectrum analyzer. You'll notice that in the spectrum analyzer, there's two crossover flags. There's the low frequency crossover flag and the high frequency crossover flag. The high frequency crossover flag can be disengaged by pulling it all the way past its extreme to the off position and it can be turned on and brought back in from 20 kilohertz and down. And these two crossover flags determine which section of the audio will be processed by high fall. Just a quick trick, you can select the blue halo in the middle and move both crossover bands at the same time. Let's play some audio real quick. In this situation, I'm hearing just what high fall is processing. Additionally, I can do the same thing to the high frequency crossover flag, but that's going to solo what it's not processing, what's above it and what it's excluding. What's above this high frequency crossover flag and below this one is being unprocessed by the plugin. It's just passing through with no processing at all. Let's listen to the high frequency exclusion band. Now we're essentially processing between 4.7 and 12.5K, but if I want to change that, I can right click between the two crossover flags and move that around. Now let's talk about the parallel limiter. The crossover flags work in the exact same way as the main high fall, but the main difference is above this crossover flag and below this crossover flag, instead of passing through, are muted. And so now we're just isolating those mid frequencies and blending them in from the bottom up using this master fader right here. So in this situation, this frequency is excluded. It is high pass filtered and then muted. The only thing being contributed to the mix via this fader is what's happening between the crossover flags here. So the core difference between the main high fall and the parallel limiter is that the main high fall has a process band and then two pass bands. And the parallel limiter has a process band and two mute bands. If you want to learn more about the signal flow of high fall, check out this graph in the manual. Till next time. Making money is my hobby. Me I do my We enter the day outside. Making money. Making money is enough my thing. I mean action, bitch of nourish. Jack Alan Sherry.